my life as a computech was calm and simple. But that was before I met Aram Fingal. AKA Gomez. Yeah. My name is Apollonia James. Oh, right. And I worked in Nirvana Village monitoring Dopplers. Sure you did. I remember thinking that Fingal didn't seem the Doppling kind. So Fingal didn't Doppel? Corpse body. He lost his body, and I almost lost my mind. This lovely Raul Julia pendant, available only on the Home Shopping Network. It's a Raulbix cube. <laughs> Guys, oh. see, I thought he was Puerto Rican. I didn't no, know that he was Cuban. <laughs> Raul, you come right back and be in this bad movie, young man. But I'm signed to play Archbishop Romero. Now the news. By 4%. Let Lexicorp deal with that. We will win. <laughs> They're showing us the tubby guy's angioplasty. <laughs> SAT farms of the future! He had a terrible job, monitoring routine data output on global climate control. And its effect on Bugs Bunny. But he thought he'd found a way to outwit the system and do something different with his time. Man, never show a good movie in the middle of your crappy movie. We now return to Billy Madison. Dr. Fingal, you are creating an efficiency problem. Access is terminated. Report to Psychis now. Somehow he managed to break into a closed file called Cinemas. Wow. Really, really big brother. Hey, someone turn off the fat rotating guy. Mr. Fingal. Fingal? <laughs> Nothing. Processor, third class. You did something. It's Merv Griffin. <laughs> Ask about his mother. Ask if she wears army boots. Do you love your mother? <laughs> My mother, yes, I... She died a long time ago. Efficient. You used your computer for unauthorized viewing of cinemas. Need our compulsory rehab. Nirvana Village. Prophylactic rehab, Fingal. Retread his condoms? I guess so. We can doffel. You can trust my diagnosis, Mr. Uh, Fingal. Fingal. So, aging lesbian nuns run the future. <laughs> Imagine me and you, and you and me. No matter how they toss the dice, we'll always... Everyone's noticed it. How can I concentrate on my data processing when you're sitting across the aisle from me? <laughs> you could get your desk changed. <laughs> Listen, Felicia, I've asked you out 67 times. You're saying no. Almost everyone doppled voluntarily. Fingal was my first compulsory doppel. I didn't want to bungle or bobble to Fingal doppel. Yes. <laughs> okay, so it's my first doppel. I've only dabbled in doppels. Work. Does this train go uptown? <laughs> Fine looking guy, the chairman. <laughs> little... He's pregnant? Is it? I got 47 credits. What kind of a double do you think that buys? An anteater? Maybe. Whoa, huge slam on anteaters out of nowhere. <laughs> Come as you are to my mall, to my atrium, yeah, yeah. Oh, look, must be a jack-in-the-box in the food court. And that's when I saw him for the first time. As previously seen. I guess it wasn't just his eyes. He had a special attitude. He didn't quite fit in. I know most people thought he was a pain in the neck, but I never felt that. Even when things were at their worst. That's a good doppel. Okay, Governor. Next. We'll be right there. Okay. I don't. Well, that's a shame. Maybe you need a polyvinyl coating. <laughs> Compulsory rehab. I was thinking about a stallion. Your credit should take what you can get. What's that? Bollocks! <laughs> a mangy old baboon. A baboon? Name's Daisy. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> What's so funny? I don't have to do this, you know. Suit yourself. You rummy lorry. You know the rules. No rehab card, no work. No work, no credits. No credits, nothing. Zip! <laughs> oh, I lost a tooth. Doppling rooms through there. Bloody Darby. Good morning, Mr. Fingal. You are about to begin Doppling. My name is Apollonia Jane. Forgot for a sec. I'm the Computech who will be monitoring your Doppel. Nice baboon. Okay, fine with me. Please, I can see your little Fingal. 
You'll find a fresh glass of cold reconst next to your chair. <laughs> reconst D, man. Sit down, Mr. Fingle. You need to tinkle, Fingle? Nothing to worry about. How about some Pringles, Fingle? Trust me. Just gonna bandsaw the top of your head Just off. Just relax. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Not that deep. You might be interested <laughs> to know. Have a good safari, Mr. Fingle. I seem to have died. Is that okay? <laughs> Boy, I envy him right now. Remember not to touch anything. You'll grow hair on your palms. <laughs> no! Oh, oh. Daisy, you could have got mustard all over his Ow. brain. No! No! His mother was Emmeline Osmondo Fingal. Hello, dear. <laughs> At least I'm not an anteater. This movie just hates anteaters. Believable. That looks more exciting. Hey, extreme babooning. Looks like fun. I wonder if I could do that. Yeah, that does look fun, Mike. If I could do that, I'd basically never stop. Yep. Can't get the hang of it. It's harder than I thought. I'm as clumsy as a stupid repulsive anteater. <laughs> What that means we'll be here all night filling in compu stats. You don't have to suffer through it. I was on duty, I'll handle it. No way, we'll both suffer. Woo! Out of here. They've brought Daisy in, she's in the Doppling room, and the Ooh. medical's ready. Ralph Malf here. Damn, why couldn't Slavin have been off duty? We're waiting. Where's Fingal's body? I called 2B and must be on his way. Must be some snafu Apollonia. We never had no any uh, Aram Fingal. <laughs> it must be there. They brought him up yesterday. Economy compulsory rehab. Look again, 2B. He is so Pat Benatar. I'm notifying Slavin now. Lexicorp World News just issued a bulletin. Novacorp stock is plummeting. It dropped 20 points in the last two minutes. What are you going to do? Eat. Best technician in the department. We're pressing your pants. Uh... Uh, all right, let's, let's make this short. Oh, why uh, start now? <laughs> patient's identicube was connected to the computer while cloning was attempted. Uh, cube must remain active or electron loss results. Sorry, I ran over here. <sighs> we used the central computer to simulate life experience, but we had to set up a control interface from outside. <laughs> we used Watson to complete the interface. There was, there was no other way to keep contact. David Bowie in a brilliant cameo. She was going too fast for me. The subject's personality is transferred from his identicube into the computer. It's just a furnace a filter. We plugged Watson in to monitor what happened. <laughs> I wouldn't have done it if I'd realized the awful danger he was in. <laughs> Watson was tired but still maintaining contact. <laughs> then there was some kind of negative energy surge. Energy surge! As if the computer sucked everything in. Sucked. Let's go with that word, movie. <laughs> Oh, God, Watson's identity was sucked in, too. I gotta get back to the 10K. He was still breathing. <laughs> Vital signs fine, but he wasn't there. A blank brain. Hooray for socks. <laughs> Listen, don't do it. Don't risk anyone's life this way. Nothing's worth it. <laughs> you see what she's wearing? <laughs> Mercury will allow this interface. So cube life for me before automatic destruct. Huh. <laughs> Must be Christmas on the Borg ship. <laughs> See you on the dark side of Raoul. It was eerie, watching Fingal creating his own reality simulation around him. Must be something in that recon she gave me. Recon. Ready for external Recast. tracking personnel interconnect. Connect. Miss James. Please begin tracking Fingo. He's in there. Wait! Switch to analog. It has a warmer sound. <laughs> Contact. Oh, wait, no. Uh, Yahtzee. You know, I bet nobody ever scrolls up this cinema. <laughs> Go to work. But I'm an actor. Then it's morning. Mike, it's eerie watching Fingo create his own reality simulation around him. <laughs> We'd be able to find him when we were ready to put him back in his own body. Are you ready to put him back in his own body? When he accepted the simulation of Novacorp, I sensed he was still confused. Or stupid. <laughs> I had to get in there and explain things to him. But I'd have to simulate someone he'd really trust. Fingal. What? Now this, is this off? Mom. Hello, Sonny. What are you doing here? Why aren't you Puerto Rican? It's an entirely healthy question, son. 
The fact is, I'm being electronically simulated. Whoa! Mom. My nuts. My nuts? No, oh, dear, but they're still Shh, there. they're talking about his area. Negative input. Fingers too curious, girls too eager to help. Pork delivery's late. <laughs> Better late than never, Sonny. <laughs> Gotta get me some of that soup. Someone beat up George Will. Good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> In about an hour? I don't think so. <laughs> Look, it's the Agent Pee Wee up What happened? <laughs> Your most unfortunate accident. Poor woman ran across the street. Mm. A truck came around the corner and hit her. <laughs> hit her. <laughs> May I trouble you for a light, sir? But who's he? Who's he trying to do? Uh, Jimmy Stewart? Uh, James Cagney? No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Uh, John Kenneth Galbraith. No, no, no. Ram Dass. Uh, Terry Hulk Hogan, maybe? Or... Formerly that other place. Appearing tonight, Slayer. I'm not the one who messed things up in the first place, am I? Am I? All right, Fingo. You once said I was a warped, frustrated. All right, Fingo. Wow, Tom Wolf with a thyroid problem. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. All I can eat, the joke's on them. I have to go. Wait a minute. I want out of this movie, too. Can't keep this up. Just listen to me. Okay? As if your life is Ding. normal. Normal? Is it normal when the woman you're talking to turns into a head with a veil hanging down over nothing? I think you better be going now, Fingo. Come back to my place anytime. We're getting a karaoke machine. I'll have what I'm having. <laughs> Stay away from the fat man, Mr. Fingo. I'd only been monitoring Fingo for an hour, but it felt like years. Yeah, tell us about it. As soon as Fingal was back at work data processing his old boredom research. I can't stand this anymore. I'm so bored. Okay, which one of us said that? I felt it. <laughs> Maybe I had to put up with it out there, but not in here. I'm going to get a Glock and mow these people down. Listen! We're nothing more than a bite in a giant computer! I'm okay, okay with that. that. That's right. Okay, Miss Computech Apollonia James. I will! My coffee coupon. <laughs> Oops, I leaked. <laughs> I'm gonna give the hell out of these flowers. That steams my mustache. I am working, Mr. Fingal. Listen, Felicia, why don't we just walk out of here, go back to my place and make love? Whoa, I want to work in data entry. Is that your idea of a joke? <laughs> Do you want to get us fired? Not a satisfactory reply, Felicia. Oh, there's a fly in here. What's that? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Big boy. Well, I'm actually size doesn't matter, boy. <laughs> I wouldn't wish that no good drone on anyone. Now he started playing around with himself. Whoa! Oh. Man, kids are tuning in right now to watch Barney. Mike. <laughs> you know, if only she had turned into a cold beer, it would have been perfect. Change things if I didn't like them. And this is what you mean by changing things? Why not? I'm entitled to a little bit of happiness, happiness. aren't I? <laughs> you were raised Catholic. Happiness. First you tell me to go out and change things instead of sitting around. Now you want me to sit around? Why don't you go try to figure out what you want and then come back? Yeah. What I want is to get you back inside your body and be rid of you. Fine! Bang? I want to get back to my life too, you know. <laughs> If this one-handed exercise is all you can think of to do with your life, Whoa. you're a very little man, and I'm very disappointed in you. Is this still the officially sanctioned boring part? You had me fooled. You replaced my coffee with Folger's crystals. I was beginning to think that you were someone special. It's a good thing we don't have to like each other, isn't it? Because you're definitely not my kind of woman. Ooh. Ooh, well, now you are, actually. <laughs> Filmed in soap opera vision. I can't go on with this. We'll return to days of our Fingal after this. Oh, did they just switch to the dinner menu here? If I'm in charge of what happens to me in here, I'm not gonna go on being a zombie like all those other zombies at work. I'll be a better zombie. <laughs> what are you gonna do? So I guess I'm gonna have to punch my own buttons for a change. Ah, you've been doing enough of that, mister. <laughs> Jeez. Whoa! Kitchen alert! Who's that guy? Crap. And I'm running the prime rib special tonight. He plays dirty, Fingal, and he plays for good. 
What say you and me? Uh, hmm? Bingo, you have to do oh, something man. about the heat. We can't work. What do you expect? This is Casablanca, 103, and probably getting hotter. Hey, get lost, Cat Stevens. <laughs> can't you find some other reality? And you don't exist, so just uh, disappear, will you? I mean, you smell like you exist, but... Get back to work, Fingal. You make me tingle, Fingal. Fingal, are you single? Give me a jingle. <laughs> oh, good one. What is your access code? Where do you want to go today? All over this movie. <laughs> That's where I want to go. Mr. Fingal, can't you do something about the heat? Well, some like it hot and some sweat when the heat is on. <laughs> your new backyard. Oh, I wandered into the ladies' room. And that's why they stay in there so long. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Fingal. I trust you're enjoying Casablanca. Very amusing city, fat man. I have a communication for you. Bite me. Uh, thanks, but I have an appointment. Hey, Fingal, where are you going? The boss would like to talk to you. Shut up and listen. Good of you to spare me the time, Mr. Fingal. <laughs> I will be brief. How is it be? Want you to know that I discovered that one of the children who observed your doppling played a little joke on you. He switched the tag from your body to another body. Where am I? Well, unfortunately, the little rascal couldn't remember what color tag he put on your body. Breathing knocks the wind out of this guy. <laughs> Even after rather intensive questioning. <laughs> but there is still hope. How much hope? Uh, that depends on you, Fingo. <laughs> if you persist in trying to interfere with the HX-368 programs, I guarantee... Ah! Oh. <laughs> Grab hold of the watercress. <laughs> I don't make threats, Mr. Fingal. Only promises. Oh, and a great pork roll. <laughs> <laughs> He's a towel, Fingal. Those damn thugs giving him a towel. <laughs> Poison cure refilled within two seconds. Oh, my God. We're on. The Yuga Booga tribe. Always be there, Fingal. Damn trendy cigar bars. <laughs> Apollonia? I'm sorry, sorry. He's a village people. <laughs> he thought I was a blackmail construction worker. It's cute. <laughs> <sighs> you know, I'd rather watch the kind of hackers who spit a lot. <laughs> Varicose desk. We cracked the code to scrubbing bubbles. <laughs> scrubbing bubbles. It's a raining man. Hallelujah. Ready for our game of battleship, sir? <laughs> Are there any storms programmed for today? No, sir. I knew it. Fingal's access to Ken. Well, they have ducks in their computer. <laughs> oh, whole lot of plaque in your arteries, sir. Fat Guys Marathon, 26.2 feet. <laughs> this is how much pure cocaine you would need to enjoy this movie. Yeah. I'm not cleaning it up either. Flooding Parliament. Florida reports five Fingles inches of snow. Fingles accessed by weather Paris interface. And I'm out of cutlets. Abort new <laughs> program <laughs> soonest. Invalid format. Quit or retry. Iceland and Greenland in midst of heat waves. He couldn't have done all this. Well, love is a battlefield? <laughs> is this how you control that lunatic? It's summer and there is a blizzard out there. Rain and typhoons in the south, floods, cyclone. Everything is out of control. James, am I mistaken? Or are you deep fried? Are you not an employee of Novacorp? Of course I am. And you have certain loyalties to us? Yes, Mr. Fat. All right, stop romanticizing. Find him, chastise him. If there is one more catastrophe, we will not deliberate. We will terminate him. Oh no, ear police. It's a pleasure, my dear sir, to see the waves you made. Hey, 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 don't do that thing with your finger when you shake my hand.
Back off the stick. No, cut the engine. Cut. Um, that's poison oak on your naughty bits, ma'am. Polonia? Scal just needs to go home. Wait for him to call. Is it really you? Or just a fig leaf of my imagination? <laughs> Here's some more commandments. I forgot. Thou shalt not screw around with things thou dost not understand. Thou shalt not meddle in Novacorp hardware, or in Novacorp shall hold thee the responsible. And you didn't need all that pizzazz. You're enough. Do you have these in pocket size? Goddess of Transitorium. Yeah. Tubi here. <laughs> Time's running out, Tubi. We're close. We've only got two areas left to search. He's got to be in one of them. Keep me posted, will you, Tubi? Or not, Tubi. Thanks. Mr. Fingo! Santa! I see, I'm in time. For what, fat man? I've taken the liberty of arranging for some papers for you. Uh, passport, uh, exit visa, that sort of thing. And I'm big boned, by the way. <laughs> Your most recent reports were very positive, Mr. Fingal. Oh. Isn't that just great? You'd be very wise to think of traveling and enjoying yourself. <laughs> You're going to spend the rest of your life playing it straight. <sighs> it's my only chance. <laughs> if you'd made any more trouble for them, Mr. Fingal, they would have been forced to erase your existence here. That would have been most unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I would have found my own way to get out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, burped up a cape on. You think you can't do it? I think he's a fool to risk everything for his silly game. Plain, Mr. Fingal, you don't want to miss it. There's nothing more boring than playing it safe, Fingal. Let me accompany you to the plane, Mr. Fingal. Shut up, fat man! You, you anteater. Better safe than dead, Rick. That's a matter of opinion. Mr. Fingal, they're ready for the takeoff. Here, fat man, you take the trip. And yes, there's a meal. <laughs> My compliment. You're a very foolish man, Mr. Fingal. A lot of face. From now on, whatever happens is your responsibility. Is that clear? To Wendy's. <laughs> But the contact with Fingal be broken. More gravy! Pity about that, Mr. Chairman. You might not have another chance. Neither will Fingal. I've added a new security lock to the access program. Now he can go on trying forever. <laughs> <laughs> How's your homework, honey? Thanks, Pierre. Any progress, sir? No, the bastard changed the access code on me. I have to start all over from square one. I'm confident you'll find a way, Mr. Fingal. Thank you, Floyd the pervert. <laughs> Fingal's access to get. I want more butter on my ham. <laughs> I've got She's found him. Ah, sir, the brisket. Haven't you heard? The computer's going crazy. It sounds like Barney. It's ordering bonuses of 50 credits for every employee. I love you. And stock bonuses. Hee 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 hee. I think he, I'm gonna go for a drink. And George said he'd tell me about the rabbit, so... They're juicing Jerry Garcia. All right, bingo. I'll have the waffles. Man, I hate anteaters. Well, that'll stop the 400-pound guy who smells pancakes. <laughs> we demand that you set up a delicious buffet. Where is he? I've come for Fingal, Rick. Fingal, Rick? What is that, some kind of a Rhine wine? Search the place. <laughs> he must be here somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, Eraserhead was easier to follow than this movie. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's Taz. <laughs> what now? Try jiggling it. Moliere looks on. <laughs> With Bernays sauce. The director's neck right in my hand. Yeah. Single. <laughs> <laughs> Draw me some butter. <laughs> you are being terminated with extreme pork chops. Hey, I don't know oh, I feel so sorry for his shirt. The prime rib is gone! Fingal? No, Mr. Fingal. It is your turn. To feed me. Kill. Oh, 
It's the big one! <laughs> Hang on, I'm passing a ham through my left ventricle! Man, it's a real dilemma because he knows Fingal's the only cook on tonight. <laughs> Most face any screen has ever held. Yeah. T-zones graphically portrayed. <laughs> one less cake to bake him, twelve less eggs to fry. We haven't even had a dance together. And you never bought a muffler together either, what's the point? If you don't get out, you'll be nothing but a flow of electrons. I like it though! Wee! It's fun! Electrons don't dance, Fingal. They don't make love. They're Lutherans. You kidding? We'll have an electron sex party right now! So, what, the final two hours of the movie is in slow motion now? You have a jelly bean stuck to your hair. Now she turns into a werewolf. Yeah! No, uh, I guess so. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you, Miss James. <laughs> you really are too much. You know that, Fingal? <laughs> too much, yeah. I'm taking care of the chairman. He's going on for a month's compulsory rehab. You're putting him in Daisy? <laughs> Daisy's too good for the bastard. He's going on as an anteater. No <laughs> way off the anteater. Come on! Man. I guess you have to go now. Yeah. But just number one, don't worry. You can't you stay here. What is that? No, 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 no. And now the news. That was the news. Man, that was a very bad and confusing movie. Listen! We're nothing more than a bite in a giant computer! I'm okay with that. That's right. I discovered <laughs> that one of the children who observed your doppling played a little joke oh. on you. He switched the tag from your body to another body. <laughs> If you persist in trying to interfere with the HX-368 programs, I guarantee... To Wendy's. 